हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट चार्ल्स टिकन्स वन ऑफ द फेमस शॉर्ट स्टोरीज कॉल्ड ऑलिवर आस्क फॉर मोर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द ऑथर इट सेल्फ चार्ल्स टिकन ही वॉज द पर्सन ही वॉज इनफैक्ट अ फेमस इंग्लिश ऑथर हु लिफ्ट बिटवीन एटीन ट्वेल्व टू एटीन सेवेंटी and he is one of the famous authors known for his critiques on society he is considered best writer of victorian period and uh, the short story which we are looking at okay is one or the other way based on dickens own tough childhood okay and there are a lot of scene where he has shown how the life of orphans during the 1800 which is victorian period so it was a time when there were many factories and lot of poor people in england and the kind of suffering they faced during that period uh, the whole thing has been shown in this particular short story now <clears throat> for after looking at the author itself now we are going to look at the short story what short story is about and what is the summary of the short story so basically this short story is about a small boy and his whole journey of life and what kind of um what kind of consequences he has to face because he was born as poor during that time uh, time period during that victorian period okay so uh, the story starts in a very small town in england there is a place uh, called a workhouse okay and it is for the people who had no money or home so uh, this is a place where oliver twist a boy okay a boy uh, on which the whole story is about he is born and the situation where he was born or when he was born uh, the mom Uh, she was found on the streets okay and no one really knew where she came from and she looked like she walked a lot because her shoes were really worn out after she had oliver she got to see and kiss him but then she really got sick and after some time period she died so basically the doctor noticed that she didn't have a wedding ring or something so she has maybe ran away and it also meant that she was also not married so uh, no father and oliver is obviously left alone in the world because no one knew anything about his family or the uh, or his mother basically where she has come because it it was uh, the all the scenario was pointing towards the fact that she has ran away from somewhere so what happens is miss uh, this oliver twist is now left alone okay in the whole world mr bumble a town officer what he did is he uh, named that particular baby so the time when he was born he was not named so this baby was named as oliver twist okay and he gave the names in alphabetical order why because he works in that workhouse okay and whenever a new child comes they name them alphabetical order in a alphabetical order so after uh, n there was a turn for o so o for oliver and it was oliver's turn for a name starting with t so oliver twist okay growing up there was tough by the time oliver was 9 he was skinny and weak so obviously the scenario in that particular workhouse was not good the kids there didn't have nice clothes and didn't get much to eat what they used to have is they used to have soap three times a day and a bit of bread once a week and they all ate together in a very big room and they each got only one bowl of soup and they made sure to eat like to drink every last drop of it basically they were having uh, they were given very less amount of food only the food that can uh, that is going to help them survive not much than that now wh what happens is one day oliver and his friends were really hungry and what they decided is they decided that they should uh, ask more from these people okay like at least something some one bowl more because they are actually really hungry and as you 
you grow up as you uh, get into your teenage age your hunger increases right so they came up with a plan to ask for more soup after dinner and uh, oliver was the one who had to ask what, basically what happens is the, these friends they were discussing and they decided that oliver is a person who is going to ask on behalf of all of us now what happened is when oliver asked for more soup everyone was super surprised because he was the first person to do this right now what happened is the head of the workhouse he was a very big man and uh, for some reason he got so mad that he hit oliver with a spoon mr bumble was also angry when he got to know who is mr bumble i think i have already discussed that mr bumble is a town officer and when he realized that this boy is asking for more soup he was also mad okay and uh, they made oliver to stay in a dark room for a week okay and mr bumble was sometimes hit him also okay and all these things were uh, dragging oliver to that dark room and beating so all this scenario was happening in front of other children as well okay so they got really scared because they knew they now knew the consequences of asking more food now what happens is for a week that boy oliver twist was inside that dark room and soon they put up a sign outside that room saying that uh, they are going to give 5 pounds to anyone who is going to take oliver away from this workhouse now they are not ready to keep oliver over here and in the same particular uh, scenarios in the summary itself as the summary uh, proceeds we see that this mr bumble is talking to mr soverberry who is mr soverberry soverberry is a person who make coffins for people who died in the workhouse and uh, this uh, mr bumble is in a way he is showing him a sign hinting that soverberry should take oliver away from this workhouse so basically uh, the short story is in a way giving a subtle hint that maybe oliver has died and these people has called up soverberry to make coffin for oliver and why he died obviously because these uh, people not feeding him for a week and in fact beating him so this was the condition of poor people especially children who used to work in a workhouse or factories and how they used to be treated over there okay so uh, this was the whole short story i hope you liked it and you can search for more information about the short stories on wikipedia etc but uh, overall this was it this uh, uh, dickens write the short story in the first place to give the scenario of what was happening and he in fact critique by giving us this short story i hope you enjoyed this video uh, so we are going to i'm going to be putting my next video in the next week Uh, till then keep studying keep learning and enjoying it take care bye bye